so this is me reporting had to report and do a video from here because this is on top of our apartment this is the roof garden and look what I, look what's on the roof garden pretty much I mean we're so close to the pyramids I can literally reach out and touch it it's always the way on a video or a camera that you don't actually get the um, the enormity of the of the of the visual right um, but like literally we're right on the Giza plateau I mean it's absolutely beautiful and that's the noise this is Cairo man downtown Cairo very very noisy but also amazing as well with the energy it's just it's just a hub you know but today has been a very very powerful day for us um, and I think this is all of this message is all about trust and you know having faith in how everything unfolds you know because when you come to Egypt it's very easy to get tangled up in there we've got to be there and we've got to go there and you get very tired because the energy is very powerful here um, and then you can actually finish your your trip and your your retreat or whatever it is that you come on and actually miss a lot of it because it's just too damn fast um, and you need time to take these moments to really absorb all the energies of of the land not just the temples the people I mean I've had such great value in sitting cross-legged on the prayer mats with the locals drinking hibiscus tea and smoking cigarettes well not me personally but like the people I've been with have just been just been chilling with the locals and just absorbing um, absorbing it all and that is what it's about having the fullness of any experience in any moment so we did the pyramids today we're at, we're actually nearly at the end of our trip we're doing Saqqara tomorrow so I've got one more run of videos to come tomorrow which is going to be like crazy off the chain on another level but let's talk pyramids so my signature energy and frequency in Egypt is the Great Pyramid it is where my soul energy lies because I'm connected to all temples and I am connected to the energies and the frequencies of them and that's what I bring through when I work with people um, and when I work with myself but where my true essence and my uh, peak of power let's say it, peak get what I did there peak of power is actually in the Great Pyramid it's where I have had many past lives it's where my signature en um, energy sits and your signature energy is your unique frequency we all have we all have a unique frequency and that's in this life what, what we're here to do is to find that out you know um, so I found mine out it sits in the Great Pyramid last time I came here I had a very very powerful experience those of you that are familiar with the spiritual way when you have past life flashbacks I know some of you are watching these because I've been with you when you've had yours in Egypt you know who I'm talking you know who I'm talking about um, you know who you are um, it's powerful man and it can hurt and it can be quite intense but what it is is you can walk into these places and have a powerful memory of past life energy that maybe not have been so great maybe you didn't have such a great experience in the Great Pyramid and, and whatever and then you get, go there and your soul remembers it and then you can tweak out a bit but like that's you purging the density of what has happened to you um, it's no longer part of your reality so the soul will purge what it doesn't need, need through deep memory and that's what happened to me when I came here last time I walked into the pyramid and I pretty much had a good vomit and I had a panic attack and my soul was trying to leave me and it was really intense and it was really scary um, and I was very 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 um, taken aback by it because it, it put me in quite a lot of shock and that was a good few months of me working on that energy to clear that out the way so my biggest experiences have been in there but also the biggest experiences of being expansive into my energy have also been in there so you see it's a pendulum swing and our life our incarnation is all about balancing that pendulum swing we shouldn't be going to the extremes like this which is what a lot of us feel in our life it's about balance it's about coming into oneness coming into that unity that neutral space that I speak of this is what we came here to do our journeys here as spiritual beings is to find and connect and embody our soul power our soul power is sometimes shattered in fragments because we've had bad experiences in our past lives and our life this life but it's for us to go and collect the pieces and bring it back to oneness so we can be whole again and when you're whole you're fully in your power and then you remember exactly who you are you remember exactly what skill sets that you have not just from this life from eons ago and you can bring them through in this now life and live in the highest vibration you could possibly be in that's what it's all about so now I want to talk a little bit about the Akashic Records because the Akashic Records and I will do another video on this is another um, vibration that I work with quite strongly Toth, um, Metatron who are the same beings they kind of look after the Akashic Records and 
everything we do, everything we feel, everything we experience gets documented. It's a bit like there is an ongoing journal going on you all the time. How you speak to somebody, how you behave, what bad experiences you've had in past lives, you know, what you're doing now. It gets documented, everything. So for example, in a past life, if you were living in poverty, this life you've got to live in abundance. That's balancing the records. If you were not a very nice person in that past life, then it's for you to come and rewrite the record and be a nice person in this life. So it's all about balancing your books, man. It's all about like, you know, kind of like spiritual accountancy. So the Kashik records, the purpose and the energy of it all is for us to come back into our soul power. Because being in pain, being in trauma, being lack, um, unhappy, you know, whatever, that is not being in the fullness of who you are. That is not being in your soul power. Now, your soul power is the journey. So that is why I personally come back to places like this, to go and retrieve parts of me that are vibrating out here that aren't happy, to go and retrieve parts of me that are still sitting in an Akashic record in trauma. So by me going in the Great Pyramid today and going connecting with the energy, I feel so whole. I activated my whole light body being and I felt it. And I came out just feeling like, wow, to my core, like it's done now. I came here last time, major trauma. I came here this time, major expansion. So I've rewritten my record to do with the Great Pyramid, which means I have access more of my soul power. When you access more of your soul power, you get access to more of your, your, your gifts and abilities. You get access to more abundance and so on and so on. So you get the gist. So this is why it's really, really important to have an awareness of what you actually are here for. You're not meant to just live here in trauma. You're not meant to elicit, like, live here and just you know have a shit life. No, 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 it's about balancing your books. And we balance those books in many, many different ways. You may not feel that it's right for you to come to Egypt and do that. Um, there are many uh, different ways of doing that. Sometimes it's just about being a good person. Whereas in a past life, you might be not such a nice person. It's all about heart and clearing the blocks out the way that prevents you from being in heart. Because when you're in heart, you're in your soul power. So I think you get the idea. That's like a quick Akashic Records 101. So the energy that I have felt as a result of going into the pyramids today is completion. Um, completion, wholeness, oneness, peace. And I just want to share with you before I go, what I have done today, I do for all. Because what I heal for me, I heal for you. What you heal for you, you heal for me. This is where the deeper you walk along your path, the more you will understand that your journey always leads you to oneness. So if oneness, what does that mean? That means that we're all part of the whole. So if we're all part of the whole, that means you're me and I am you. Mind bent yet? <laughs> Anyway, you've got to look out. I didn't want to say too much, but you've got to look out for um, this magical trip that I will be putting together next year. So you too can come and experience what I've been experiencing. Not to tweak out in the pyramids, by the way. I'm talking about the oneness and fullness. We're in a different energy now. We're in, we're in unity consciousness. So, you know, only, I wish only good things to happen for you. But you know what I'm saying? But yeah, this is, this is, uh, this is what it's all about. So from me and the pyramids, and I was just looking because my husband's got bored and left. <laughs> but yeah, the sun goes down on Cairo, but it doesn't go down in our hearts. So, peace, love, and happiness and wholeness. Thanks for watching. <laughs>